The Commercial Driver Training Foundation is proud to present Life on the Road, helpful tips for successfully starting your new career. As a student in a professional truck driving school, you're going to do a lot of training and learn a lot of new things. I learned a lot about backing. They taught me all about the pre-trip inspection. I had to learn all about the pre-trip. Seemed like we spent weeks on the pre-trip. I feel like I know everything about this truck. I learned how to safely operate a truck. Turning, backing, shifting gears. Learned a lot about the law and the regulations. I found out I love Red Bull. I figured out I really like coffee. Truckers drink a lot of coffee. Vente extra hot mocha with two pumps of vanilla. Skim milk, please. Proper lane changing. Safety. Safety. We spent a lot of time on safety. Map reading. Trip planning. When you're driving with a co-driver, never pick up an open Gatorade bottle. I've got map reading down. I am the king stud of map reading. Keeping it safely between the lines. Yeah, 55 means 55. Those orange cones you see, they're soft. Proper lane changing. Backing. 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 I did a lot of backing. Did I mention? We spent a lot of time on backing. But that's just the beginning of your education. As a new truck driver, you'll need to learn even more. Setting up automatic bill pay. Learning how to keep my bills paid. How to get around the truck stop. Now that's, that's huge. Learning how to fuel up at the truck stop. Not blowing your money on fast food. I should have learned how to budget. Keeping in touch with my kids. How do you do your laundry? Where do you do your laundry? Keeping my bills paid. Not blowing your money on fast food. Where are the showers? Do they have nice showers? Why is there always a line behind me in the showers? I use baby wipes to stay clean on the road. Taking care of the stuff at home. How to get along with your dispatcher. Congratulations on training for a rewarding new career as a professional truck driver. If you're watching this video, you're already well on your way. As you've already heard, trucking is one of the most secure professions in the United States. The American economy depends on the professional driver. To complete your truck driver training program successfully, it takes concentration, commitment, and hard work. It's not easy. There's a lot to learn, but it's worth it. Absolutely. Qualifying and passing your CDL test is quite an accomplishment. But there's only so much you can learn here at school. There's a lot more to truly becoming a professional truck driver. The purpose of this video is to help prepare you for your first 90 to 120 days on the road. It's during this period that you'll establish the skills and habits that can help you become a truly successful professional truck driver. I'm Mackenzie. And I'm Nick. So let's get started with Life on the Road, helpful tips for successfully starting your new career as a professional truck driver. One of the biggest challenges a new driver faces is learning how to handle life at home while they're on the road. The keys to this are proper communication and preparation. As a professional driver, you will generally be on the road for a great portion of your week. Things may arise at home that you would normally handle. By preparing your family in advance, you can avoid a lot of unnecessary stress and headaches. Here are some simple tips. Set up a regular time to call, text, email, or use social media with your family. While there's a lot of technology in your truck, you'll be concentrating on driving and not communicating. Each month, make a list of important events that you need to prepare for. During the holidays, make sure your family understands your schedule and communicate with your dispatcher for your specific time off needs. Before going on the road, make a list of important contacts for handling home repairs. This can be a big source of stress for many families. By having a list of reliable contacts in advance, you can be assured that things will be handled effectively while you're away. Here are some of the types of contacts you would want to include on your list. Auto repair, general contractor, painter, plumber, heating and air conditioning service, lawn care, snow removal, appliance repair, landlord and homeowner association. We've created a simple form for you to complete before you go on the road. Another way to avoid stress is by making lists of your important professional and emergency contacts. This is the type of list that you want to have at home and on the road with you. On this list, you should include your dispatcher, driver manager, doctor, dentist, vet, attorney, teachers, emergency contact information for police, fire, poison control, and ambulance. In addition, you can include the contact information for your utilities, including gas company, electric, water, K-9 
cable, phone, and internet provider. By doing this in advance, you can save yourself a lot of grief while you're on the road. We recommend that you make a printed copy and save these contacts in your phone as well. Finally, take full advantage of social media. Facebook is a great place to let your family and friends know how you're doing. Many drivers post photos of the places they've traveled to and share their daily experiences with friends and family. These are just a few of the ways that you can help make the initial transition into your new career easier for yourself, your family, and your friends. Good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. Now it's your turn to share. Okay. So let's talk about the biggest transition you'll face as a new driver. Managing your finances while you're on the road. As you probably already know, becoming a professional truck driver can be a financially rewarding career. Today's experienced drivers can make an excellent income and your income can consistently grow with experience and safe driving. Here are some helpful tips to prepare you for the first few months on the road. Before you even go on the road, set up automatic bill pay. Take advantage of technology to automatically pay your mortgage or rent, car payment, student loan, utilities, any other important recurring payments. This will give you and your family peace of mind. The second step to success is developing a reasonable weekly budget. During your first 60 days, you'll probably be receiving training pay, and that may mean getting the most out of every dollar you earn. When you develop your budget, like so many things in life, you need to keep it simple. Step one of your budget is to determine your weekly net pay. That's the amount of money you have to work with. After you know this number, you need to budget for the following items while on the road. Meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks and drinks, toiletries and personal hygiene. This includes soap, shampoo, deodorant, razors, toothpaste, laundry detergent, etc. Showers, cell phone and wireless usage, ATM and check cashing fees, entertainment. During your first weeks on the road, you'll be tempted to buy some just because I deserve it items. This is normal, but show some restraint. You need to create a budget and stick to it. There's nothing more frustrating than having more week than paycheck. By developing good budgeting and spending habits, you will ensure your long-term financial success. We have created a sample budget sheet for you and your family. Finally, you need to understand that convenience costs you money. Today's truck stops are amazing facilities. They're restaurants, convenience stores, entertainment centers, showers, laundry and fuel stops, all rolled into one. And just like every other establishment, they are in business to make a profit, and they make their profit from you. During your first few months on the road, you can stretch your dollars and save a lot of money by doing some of these simple things. Do your shopping at discount stores for food and personal items. Carry a cooler or small refrigerator in your truck. This will also allow you to eat healthier foods like fruits, lunch meats, drinks, and snacks. Take advantage of free offers. For example, many truck stops will allow you to shower for free when purchasing a specific amount of fuel. That could easily save you $15 to $20 per week. If you can follow these simple tips, your first few weeks on the road will go much more smoothly. Now let's talk about some things that are specific to your new career. During your first couple of months on the road, you will be working very closely with a couple of very important people, your driver instructor and your dispatcher. Your driver instructor will be instrumental in helping you to learn how to do this job safely, professionally, and profitably. And your dispatcher will be responsible for helping you get loads, get scheduled, and get home. Here are some great tips for starting these relationships off successfully. During your first weeks on the road, you will be paired with an industry veteran who specializes in helping new drivers. This is your driver trainer. You will get your CDL training while you're in school, but your driver instructor will help you truly become a professional truck driver. Trust your driver coach. Their job is to help you get off to the best possible start. The second most important thing you will learn on the road is to properly communicate with your dispatcher. They can play an important role in helping you become financially successful and getting home when you need. Let your dispatcher know each month about your family commitments. Early planning will go a long way to getting you where you need to be. Have a plan for how to handle emergencies at home and on the road. No matter how much you plan, sometimes stuff happens. You can avoid a lot of stress at home and on the road if you have a plan. Your driver instructor and dispatcher can help you prepare for these things. Finally, the most important thing you can do is ask for advice. 
Many new drivers are afraid to do this. Remember, that's what your driver, instructor, and dispatcher are there for. They've heard every question, and they want you to be as successful as possible. This is a brand new career, and they're your coaches. Take advantage of their experience. Ask them for advice. Wow, we've covered a lot of information in just a short time. And this is just the beginning of what you'll be learning while you're on the road. For the new professional truck driver, success or failure often comes in the first 60 to 90 days. Like every new career, there is a learning curve. And as a professional truck driver, you'll be learning much of it on the fly. Luckily, you'll have an experienced veteran driver and dispatcher to help you through this transition period. Remember, you will get paid for your combination of experience and driver safety. That means the longer you run safely, the more money you're going to make. And frankly, that's why so many people enter into this career field. Finally, think of the letters P, C, B, and S. P is for preparation. C is for communication. B is for budgeting. And S is for safety. You'll go a long way towards succeeding if you can just follow these simple lessons. Prepare your family by making the important contacts lists. Communicate properly with your dispatcher and driver trainer. Make and follow your budget. And always drive safely. If you can follow P, C, B, and S, you will become a successful, highly compensated professional truck driver. Good luck out there, and thanks for watching this video. Life on the Road, helpful tips for successfully starting your new career, has been brought to you by the Commercial Driver Training Foundation. Part of their mission is to support and promote educational excellence for the commercial driver training industry. The Foundation would like to thank their partners for their generous contributions, which helped make this video possible. To learn more about the Commercial Driver Training Foundation, you can find us on the web at cdtfi.org.